guys, my name is Abdul Jalil and today in this video I'm going to show you how to set this is Turbonet, MTN Turbonet and this is another universal router you can use any SIM card ok, if you are a parent you need to stick to the end because I'm going to show you how to set up a parental guide for your children or if you are a CEO and a manager of a company, you have to do the same to block some website from access. So if you are ready, come let me let's go and show you how it is done. Hi, welcome back. Now before you can do any settings look at the back of your router if it is MTN or any other devices especially Huawei or if it is MTN or Vodafone look at the back of the device you will see there is some keys there there is user admin and password okay you use that one to log in the first thing go to any browser any browser and type the IP address at the back of your device you will see IP 192.168.8.1 if it is empty so if it is not that one the one there use that one okay now go to any browser and type that IP I have it here so this is it 192.168.8.1 this is MTN so if it is Vodafone it will differ or if it is Etertigo any network it will differ from this so the concept is pretty the same just look at the back and get it so from there if you log the IP address in the browser here like this one you will see it here, you can see it here 192.168.8.1 so you will see this screen here home, you see home statistics, sms, my mtn, settings and more ok, now let's start from the right, uh, left to the right ok, home here, you can see some current connection is 1.65 megabyte by 8.6 megabyte so the duration is 8 minutes so one user you can see if there are a lot of people on your your device you see them here okay so let's go to the statuses before the admin and password you saw at the back of your device this is where you put them okay so login after login this is what we will show the first thing here data plan as I said if you are a father or a parent let's say or a manager or a CEO this is where you can plan your data you can give access to data you want for your employees or your children from here so let's say you want them to use only 10 gig for the whole month for instance the start date is 10th you give them 10 gig okay they will use 90 percent of this and it will start slowing down from there they will know the data is going down okay history here you see people log to your account from here okay now the history there's no history because the last I cleared it today which was 27th September okay let's go to the next option here the menu here is SMS from here you see all your SMS this one will apply to if the device is from MTN or Etertigo or Vodafone you see there are SMS here if you buy data they will send you message you see it here okay you can also see 
outbox draft and you can also set your SMS okay let's move to the next one my MTN from here you can purchase or recharge your device you can check balance from here you can see check balance you can see it here if I check it you see you see my balance here which means data bundle I have okay the network is slow let's leave that one let's go to the next one which is setting go to settings you can see a lot of options are here but we are not going to talk about all of them because uh, some of them need technical knowledge but there are some basics one that we want to talk about so go to setting uh, security and look for firewall firewall so you click there and check all this it's for your own security check all this this one can protect you from hackers okay after that come down here you see something here domain name filter okay click on it domain name filter here look at the concept here domain name filter is configure the filter settings to restrict computers in the local area network from accessing certain website you see so from here you can block the access of some website to some people okay we have two options here we have blacklist and whitelist the blacklist set the uh, website that you do not want users to access so the website you put here people cannot access it if they are connected to your Wi-Fi or you are, they are using your network they can connect it to it this is why I said if you are a parent or a manager or a CEO let me say you want to block access to some website from your company so you don't want people from your company to access that website for instance let's do an example come to add here add let's say you don't want people to access myjoyonline.com for instance it is an example so you type it here without the w uh, http or htpf or the https all this you you not add this to the website so after that you go to ok and you go to apply you can see are you sure you want to save this the settings okay so from now anyone connected to your network cannot access this website the same you can add another one let's say facebook.com facebook so if you add facebook to people connected to your or people using your network cannot access facebook so this is how it is this is very uh, it is good for uh, what do you call it parenting or ceo or managers so let's go to the other one we have another one whitelist set the website that users can allow uh, allow sorry uh, allow to access so you can also add some website here in the whitelist here for them to access maybe if it is here it is already here you can just open open it here for people to access this is how you do it so you can see if you want if you, you just want people to access it now just go and delete it simple go delete after that apply okay so you are done here let's go to parental control here you can see it is here parental control helps keep your children protected from internet addiction or inappropriate 
website by placing time limits on the internet access duration and uh, forbidding access to certain websites. You can see, so it means you can give them time, browsing time or surfing time. You can do it here. You can also, if they are already on the system, they are connected, you just come here. You come here. You can see, let me, let me just have a look at this one. The start time is set to 2.20 hours on Wednesday and the end time is set to 10. The effective time will be 20. So 20 hours Wednesday minus 10 Thursday. This is how it works. So you come here, you add. Their devices are here. You have to know their devices. These are the MAC addresses of all the people connected to this network. So you go through it, you look for their MAC address, you just take it. If this are Android phone, you can see. If you are not many, you can know they are. So from here, you set the time. Let's say two and two. You see, this will enable multiple day mode. So the days two, you can take the days you want them to use it so it is simple just take the people you want to apply this to them if you save it the people will be guided by these settings so i think this is uh, more more or less the end of the video you can go through it and know more about the settings but make sure you don't play with the ones you don't understand because some of most of them here need technical knowledge to manipulate okay so if you don't know you can also let me show you something i didn't talk about come here settings under the settings here you can see this is where you can change the name of your Wi-Fi. Let me say if you, you are called Mr. Paul, you can write Mr. Paul like this. Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul like this. And it is your Wi-Fi name. From here to you can change your Wi-Fi access. The uh, uh, what do you call it? The key. The Wi-Fi key. This is what people who use before they can access your Wi-Fi so if they see Mr. Paul without this they cannot connect this is how it is done and you can change this anytime you can change it with any name anything when you finish click finish and it is done I hope this one is a quick it is a quick a reminder or how to configure this table net and other devices especially the universal ones the the settings are pretty the same so thanks for watching if you are new to this channel please subscribe and give us thumb up so for more people to see this video thank you very much see you next time